Were you disappointed with the Apple Watch Series 9 this year? Well, the great news is that the Apple Watch 10 or X is having a brand new design with the reports we have in for it. I want to give you all the details about this and we'll also go over the Apple Watch 10 release date and price with specs as well. So, as mentioned, in this year has probably been the most disappointing lineup for the Apple Watches. With the Series 9, we did get a new chipset, the U2 chip, and also a slightly brighter display. Then the comedy factor was that new double tap gesture with your fingers that actually has existed from the Apple Watch Series 4 and accessibilities. Then I won't even get started with the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and what we got there. But it does look like these minor upgrades or lacks of upgrades are actually for a reason as with the Apple Watch 10 we're going to be getting some big upgrades. So for everyone who watches my videos or even if you are new here in these videos I'm going to tell you the latest details of specific leaks and reports then the details of plan release date and time and then a summary of the models that were going to be released with all their features that we have learned so far. After that I'm also going to reveal to you my wish list for the next Apple Watch and also put down in the comments below what features you would like to see in the next Apple Watch 2 as I would love to see them. So to start with, I'd like to say that we're going to be getting some great upgrades instead of what we got with the Series 9 and the Ultra Watch 2. The reason is, we're going to be getting a whole new design. According to Mark Gurman here, you can see that a new Apple Watch major redesign is coming in 2024. This will be very similar to what Apple did on the 10th anniversary with the iPhone 10 in 2017 and it looks like this is going to be happening for the 10th anniversary for the Apple Watch. Finally, it does look like we could be seeing a flat design like the renders that we're seeing here and it'll more look like, like say, the iPhone designs that we have right now and also very similar to say what we got with the Apple Watch Ultra and the Ultra 2. For my thoughts, I am really happy that we're going to be getting a whole new redesign for the Apple Watch 10, and if this is the case, I'm sure it will sell super well next year. This also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true with the new Apple Watch 10. I can only present you what I've been told and shown as you've seen here. However, if you're watching this video, then you're just curious how I'm knowing what is being said about the next Apple Watch anyway. So, next First of all, let's talk about the release date, but just before that, I quickly just want to talk to you about the giveaway that is happening on this channel, and that giveaway is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber in the last week of December this year. So this is going to be between December 25th and the 31st of December. And all you have to do to enter into this international giveaway, so it's available to everybody in the world, is all you have to do is put down in the comments below of what technology gear or Apple gear any gear of technology you're planning to buy before the end of 2023 or maybe even into 2024. Put it down in the comments below to enter in and also at the same time too make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be doing a live stream in that last week of December and you'll want to find out if you're going to be the winner for this iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now one thing I also just want to quickly say sadly there's still scammers, spammers, people impersonating me, tell you to WhatsApp you, Telegram them, and also part with money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping fees and everything like that, all the taxes too. But if you do see any of these scammers out there, please do report them like you can see right here. So then, for the release date, even though it is still very, very early days. In past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone with the two devices available for purchase around similar times. Again, this happened with the iPhone 15 where we saw the new Apple Watch Series 9 and we also got the Apple Watch Ultra 2 at the same event. But how about the Series 10 release date? Well, as mentioned before, if we do get the Series 10 in 2024, we're looking for 
forward towards the iPhone 16's announcement in inspiration as more leaks have dropped in about the iPhone 16 and when it will be available. Apple tend to do an event on the Tuesday nearest the middle of September month. So right now this is looking towards September 10th in 2024. However, Apple do sometimes do their event a week before, a week after. So it's possible that we could have it even on September the 3rd or maybe a week later on September 17th. After this, Apple normally launches the Apple Watch and the iPhone around about 7 to 10 days later. So based on this, we're expecting the same for the Apple Watch Series 10 to have a very similar release time. So with that out of the way, let's now talk about a summary of everything we know so far that everything has been painting a picture for for the Apple Watch Series 10. So then, first of all, as you can see here, we do have the brand new Apple Watch Series 10. And with it, we will still be getting a 41mm and 45mm LTPO OLED screen with that 2000 nits brightness that got introduced on the Series 9. The beginning storage will be 32GB of storage. It will have that brand new S10 silicon chipset inside it. It will be very similar probably to the S9. We'll also get the U2 chipset set so that's the ultra wide band bluetooth 5.3 and still probably 4g connectivity we will also still get a glucose monitoring sensor as well that is possible going to be happening in 2024 but it might not it might get delayed out but the actual body is going to be made out of that aluminium stainless steel and maybe even a titanium body again just to match like with the iphones and like i have said already guys it's probably going to be more of a flatter design this year there's also the possibility that we may also see Touch ID on the standby button this time to authenticate things a bit more easier. And then the battery will be an all day battery again, up to 36 hours. And then again, we will still have that USB-C charging port end, what you can plug like into the sort of iPhone 15 and iPhone 16 USB end if you just want to do a daily sort of bit of a top up. Prices are expected to stay the same at the moment. So 41 millimeter, 32 gigabyte will be 399 US dollars. And this is the Bluetooth version, whereas the Celia will be 499 US dollars, and then the larger Apple Watch, the 45 millimeter, will be 429 dollars for the Bluetooth version, and the Celia will be 529 dollars. So, with that summary out of the way for the new Apple Watch 10, let me give you my thoughts and wishes. So, my wish is to actually put a selfie camera in the Apple Watch. Now, I've mentioned this before, but I'd love to see even a small 720p one. The reason is, is that say if you had a phone call on your watch, you could just lift up your arm to answer it and talk, and you know, you could see people. It kind of makes a lot of sense now with the likes of FaceTime, WhatsApp, Zoom. You get the idea. It just makes a lot of sense to have this. Or let's say, for example, even if you're lying down at the, and, you know, you need to grab your iPhone quickly, it just makes sense that you could answer the call, tell people I'm just transferring over to my iPhone or even say to your MacBook or anything like this. It just makes a lot of sense for this to happen. Maybe Apple could even angle the camera in a way that doesn't say shoot up your nose, for example. But let me know your thoughts if you agree on this or not. And write down in the comments below of what your wishes would be for the new Apple Watch 10. And with that guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.